Hey folks, Joe, uh, Boston Joe here, uh, proud member of Local 550. I uh, wanted to make a quick uh, kind of a documentary video of uh, coring through a 20 inch uh, wall over a door, over some electrical boxes and everything. Um, so here you can kind of see we've already set up um, and by the time I had, there's me there and uh, that was my boy Pat. Uh, on the other side there, he's uh, back in the water and everything. We've already set up everything on the wall. We're actually on a lift, uh, probably about, that co that core is probably 10 feet up in the air on a wall. You can see the floor there. Um, we actually separated the core machine uh, from the stand and then mounted it on the wall. You can kind of see oh, right there down in the corner. I uh, did two 3 8 uh, shields. Um, and then nuts, washers, and then uh, bolted the coring machine on the wall. We got pretty lucky. That was the one little spot uh, that allowed us to get the exact angle we needed. There and again, getting a little crazy. But, uh, and then uh, you, you can see I had to actually pull up, put a new hanger on a piece of electrical conduit that was right above our hole crank it up tight to the ceilings just so that we could get exactly where we needed to be. Later on in the video, actually on the, towards the end with a couple of uh, slides, I show where the core actually comes through the wall. We had to measure off of a door frame that we're actually above on both sides and just to make sure we knew right where we were going to come out on the other side, basically threading the needle. Uh, between many pieces of conduit that are actually down on the opposite side of uh, where we're calling through. So here now we've got a 15 inch core bit that's uh, five and a half inches round um, and you can see we're already probably about 14 inches in, a little less than 14 inches in so about uh, at this point we know we're going to be uh, pulling back the core machine and doing this exactly. Basically, I drilled a 3 8 shield, uh, threw a piece of threaded rod in there, and then uh, banged with a hammer till the, uh, till the piece broke free. Okay, go ahead. The, uh, wall itself. And then, uh, oh, yeah. uh, Pat grabbing the, the threaded oh, nice. rod and pulling out uh, a little over, uh, probably about 14 inches. Nice. Um, and then in the hole, you can see the rest. Uh, I think the total was uh, maybe 20 inches in the end. Uh, so you figure at that point you've got about six inches of concrete left to go through. So now we've got to throw an extension on so we can go the rest of the way. So we threw the bit in the wall um, in the hole that we've already got started. Throw the extension on and then you'll see in just a moment here. Um, then we actually take the head of the machine, push it forward to thread it into the uh, to that extension right there. And then what we were able to do yeah. is actually set it, start the thread, yeah, and right. then actually um, start the machine and it, and it threaded itself right in. Nice. And there it goes. And so we're off and running. And then you can see now the bit is down to the to the 15 inch point. So at this point we know we've got six inches left. Things went really smooth. We did a lot of preparation, actually, making sure that the uh, that the stand that the corn head goes on was exactly straight um, with the on the wall to the left, so that we weren't going to veer off to the left or right. And that means you come out an inch, you know, so so much of a distance away from where you actually want to come out so here we are we actually finished the six <laughs> inches there's pat on the other side checking things out and uh cool and a uh, nice clean core and uh and then we just clean up all the plastic and everything and because we used plastic and gorilla tape basically every single thing was totally protected and i forgot to mention at the beginning what we did with the plastic was actually ran it um, and kind of made walls around us and then funneled everything into a bucket. So everything that splattered actually went into a bucket with the, uh, yeah. with the exception of maybe a, a few little drips on some plastic and a uh, piece of homosote that was on the floor. And there's the finished product.